In the month of Ramadan, we observe a pillar among the pillars of Islam, which is fasting. Fasting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we heard in the verses of the Quran, is a mean to reach the level of taqwa. Ya ayuha ladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum al-siyamu kama kutiba ala ladheena min qablikum, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O you who believe, and pay attention, this call is only for the believers, those who understand the purpose of their life, those who believe in Allah, and in the messengers, and in the books, and in the day of judgment, and in the angels. O you who believe, fasting has been prescribed for you, as it has been prescribed on the nations before you, so that you can reach the level of taqwa. So that you be among al muttaqin Before we get to know what is this fasting, what is the proper fasting that would make the person among those who have taqwa, what is taqwa? Which is the goal of fasting. If we want to understand the real meaning of taqwa, we need to go back to the purpose of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ that he did not create the jinn, neither the human being, except for one purpose, and that is to worship him alone. Ibadah, worship in the religion of Islam, is such a comprehensive word that in it all the deeds, all the actions and the, the speech, all the things that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to worship him alone. The goal of the acts of worship is to make the human being reach the level of taqwa. To make the human being reach the level of taqwa, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Baqarah, the first call to all mankind, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ عَبُدُوا رَبَّكُمُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبِلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O mankind, worship your Lord, the one that created you and created the ones before you, the nations before you, so that you are among the muttaqin, so that you would reach the level of taqwa. So the goal of ibadah in general, the goal of the acts of worship, is to be among those who have taqwa. And the same thing with the fasting as we heard in the verse, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made fasting an obligation on every Muslim, on every believer, so that they can reach the level of taqwa. So it's the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it's something that is not left for one's desire or ways to reach taqwa. It is by the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easy for the believers. We need to reach the level of taqwa and this is the way by fulfilling the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So fasting is one of these important means that would make the believer among those who have taqwa. What is taqwa? Taqwa, as we know, is an Arabic word. Literally, it means shielding yourself. Shielding oneself from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Protecting ourselves from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being obedient slaves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when the ulama, the scholars of the religion, they define the word taqwa, they say it's to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the light, by the revelation from the Quran and the Sunnah in which we know what is right and what is wrong, what is halal and what is haram. Seeking the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And to be away, refrain yourself from disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to what is mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Seeking the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and having the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, one of the great companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when he was asked about what is taqwa, he responded with another question and he said, replying to the questioner, have you ever walked on a path that is full of thorns? He said, yes. So Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu told him, what did you do? He said, I lifted my garment and before I put my foot, I would look first so that nothing will hurt me. So Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu responded by saying, this is how the person that has taqwa, living this life. We are in a state of traveling. Once the person is born, this life is behind him. He's facing the hereafter. Every day get us closer to our final destination in this earth. We have actions, we have things that we say, we have things that we do. Before we do anything, before we speak any word, those who have taqwa, they would think first. Is this is something that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because they have the hope for the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because of that, they knew that in the day of judgment, everything we will be asked about. The things that we said, the things that we do. So before we take a step in our life, before we do any action, we have to make sure that it's according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and the earth, he wants us to do. And this is the real essence of taqwa. The word taqwa or the characteristics of al-muttaqeen mentioned in the Quran, and this is a blessing, the bounties from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we get to know how to reach the level of taqwa. And as we live in the month of Ramadan, it's by fulfilling the order of Allah by fasting in a proper way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran the rewards, the endless rewards for those who have taqwa. Those that the ibadah, the acts of worship, took them to this level of taqwa in which they would have the joy of this world and the everlasting one in the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ Isn't it happiness in this life and in the hereafter that everybody seeks? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who have taqwa, those who have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are dutiful to Allah and purify themselves from sins, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make ways out for them from any difficulty. And He would provide for them from means that they do not expect. Great bounties from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth. Happiness and joy on this earth for those who have taqwa. And many verses in the Quran that talks about this. You'll have a criterion in which you'll be able to differentiate between what is right and what is wrong. If you have taqwa, that you reach this level by fulfilling the orders of Allah, by fasting in the proper way, by worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to the way of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in the hereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّ الْمُتَّقِينَ فِي جَنَّاتٍ وَعُيُونَ That al-muttaqeen, those who have the fear of Allah, those who shielded themselves by doing the good deeds and being away from bad deeds, will be in gardens. Jannat, gardens in the day of judgment. What is their characteristics? Mentioned in the same verses in Surah al dhariyat they used to be good doers. They entered Jannah because of their good deeds. When they sought the means of being among those who have taqwa. They used to sleep but little during the night. It reminds us of the night prayer that it is the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to do in the month of Ramadan. Salatul Qiyam, Salatul Tarawih. They used to sleep but little during the night. Those who have taqwa. كَانُوا قَلِيلًا مِّنَ اللَّيْلِ مَا يَهْجَعُونَ وَبِالْأَسْحَارِ هُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ The last part of the night before Fajr, they would ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. وَفِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ حَقٌّ لِلسَّائِلِ وَالْمَحْرُومِ And in their wealth, a part of it was for the needy ones. Many, many qualities and characteristics that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned showing the rewards for those who have taqwa in this life and in the hereafter. Does it happen by just a simple thing or just overnight? It happens by striving. It happens by being patient. 
with fulfilling the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It happens by the acts of worship. It happens by fasting. Ramadan is a life-changing month for the believers? Yes. If we do the acts of worship in the Ramadan the way that it pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the real fasting? What is the proper fasting that would make us among those who have taqwa, those who would have the joy in this life when they are obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We'll discuss that inshallah ta'ala next time. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who have taqwa. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu, Allahu, Allahu.